In this video, I am going to be teaching you the right way to create fake backgrounds like what you see behind me. And the good thing is that we are going to be using a very simple software that absolutely anyone can use. The first part you need to get right in using this particular technique is to make sure that you have the image or the background first even before you decide to shoot. Now, what do I mean? This background you see right here, I had to pre-generate it before the beginning of this video. This is important because the way you light your original video should be able to match the background that you are going to place the video on. In this particular case, we had to go online and generate this image. And if you want to learn how I generated this image, keep watching this video till the end because I've saved that particular procedure till the end of this video where I teach you how you can generate backgrounds like this for your awesome videos. The next thing is to make sure that you are shooting with a tripod. This will help you keep the video very stable so that the person doesn't end up like he or she is floating in the air. So tripod is very important before you even begin the shoot. The next thing is the lighting and this connects very well with the very first point. So in this particular instant where this camera is pointing towards me, I have a giant window to my right where light is coming from and illuminating my body. I decided to get an image which the lighting is very close to exactly what I am doing now. This part of my face is very bright and this other side is a little bit dark because there is no light coming from that direction. Hence, I wanted my background to kind of like mimic or have a similar lighting outlook. That way, when we combine the video and the image together, everything looks like they belong to one particular side. The next thing I am going to be telling you here is that make sure to wear very contrasting colors. This is a technique I'm borrowing from the green screen world because if your background is green, your subject cannot wear any shirt or anything that is closer to the color green. Why you may ask? Because if we take out the color green, it is going to take out the person's body as well. So that is why you need to stay away from any color green. If we transport that same idea to this particular technique, we need to make sure that we are wearing contrasting colors. For example, I am currently wearing a shirt that is a little bit deep blue and has red in it. And these are all colors that clearly contrast my white background that you see in the raw video here. Just by looking at it yourself, you can see that my edges are quite clear. And this means that when you put it into the computer, the computer can simply see your edges and cut you out appropriately. Now, the other thing you need to avoid is to make sure that you are not showing very little holes across your body. Now, what do I mean? Holes like uh, leaving little tricky holes like this or maybe in between your hands or probably even using so much of your fingers. When I use my fingers, as you can see, it tries to distort because the fingers are really small. So what I try to do is that in this particular instant, as you can see, I tucked in my arm to make sure that I'm not creating any uh, little loopholes here. Make sure everything is touched sharp. And I'm not using the hand so much outside like I often do. If you watch all my videos, I'm somebody who likes to talk and use a lot of my hands in, especially when I'm teaching or when I'm explaining stuff. So, but in this particular case, I need to keep my hands tucked in and make sure that it's very close to my body. And if I even have to use my hands, I need to use them in between here so that it still has my chest or my stomach as the background of my body. That way, I'm going to be sure that the software is not going to have a hard time cutting out and leaving out those small holes. And for me, it is one of those things that I've seen in most of these videos online who are trying to teach you this particular technique. So it's something that you need to take note of and make sure that if you want the best results, stay away from creating very little holes. The other thing you need to take very key note of is the fact that the color of the background you choose should also be closely related to the background you are going to use it in. Now, what do I mean? Because it's kind of like a white grayish background, the light is hitting that background and some of those lights are coming to me, creating something we call spill. Now, my edges, if you look closely, would have semblance of the color in the background. So if we make a cutout of myself and we put it on a background that is like blue or that doesn't have any hard colors that are related to what I have in the background here, it is going to look a little bit odd. So. One thing I suggest is that if you are using a white background, then make sure that there's going to be a lot of white in the background that you are going to use at the end of the day. In vice versa, if you have, let's say, a red wall or a blue wall or whatever colors that you have in the background, make sure that you are replicating that with the AI image or the image that you are using in the background. Now, the last important tip you need to take very key note of is the fact that you need to make sure that you are not shooting against other objects. And what do I mean? If you have clustered background where you have, let's say, TVs and other things, it is not going to work effectively. So just to be safe, please just get a plain background and shoot against. Now, when you have all this done, the next thing you need to do is now get the software. The software we are going to use to do this is actually called 
CapCut. CapCut is a free software that almost everybody can use and it is absolutely free and works both on mobile platform and on PC platform. So if you are watching right now and you do not have a computer and you still want to put this technique into use, you can probably use your phone to do that. What you do is you just go to Google and just type free download CapCut or you just type there CapCut. It's definitely going to generate different options. You click this particular first one, it takes you to the site and all you need to do is just to download the software for free and after downloading again you just install it and then you are ready to use it so let's go through the part two of this video where i take you through how to use CapCut in changing the background so we are now here in CapCut, and this is where all the magic happens we just go to file and we double click we import our video then we drag the video onto the timeline and oops let me just delete this uh down layer and then when we scrap through you realize that the video it's plain. Now all the magic happens on the right hand side of the image here. As you can see, when we click here, this is the remove background feature. And then all you need to do is just to select auto removal. And then it is going to start counting. When you look to the left hand side of the screen, where you have this auto output, you realize that it's now 3% and then the figure keeps going up. You simply have to play the waiting game and just sit and wait for it to finish off. Actually sped up the process so that it will go through. But trust me guys, depending on the length of your video, this may take quite a while to complete. But once it completes, as you can see, it will give you a black cutout of your image. So now that we have our black cutout, we can now use it to put it on our background. So all we need to do is just to double click as usual, bring it in our background, and then we drag our background to the down layer. Remember this is a layer based software. So anything below would be the back and any layer above will be the one above. And then what we have to do is just to scale it in and then we move it around till we get the perfect position. In this case, I want it to look a little bit realistic. Hence, if you shoot somebody sitting like this in real life, you won't be able to see the down part of this image. That is why I've scaled it in a little and then I'm moving it to the right to create more space. Also, I want the head to be very close to the window so that the light hitting the face will be very realistic. After this, we move into color matching the whole footage. So these are the menus that will give you the chance to be able to do that. If you move this to the right, realize that you are introducing more yellows into the footage. And if you send it this way, it, you are introducing a little bit of blues and greens to the footage. So let's just adjust it a little this way. And then, of course, saturation will make the colors very vibrant or otherwise. So if you push it to the right, you are actually increasing the vibrance of the colors in the image. And of course, we do have exposure. And what I want to do is I want to raise the general exposure since this is kind of like a bright image. So at this point, there's no rights or wrongs. You just have to keep going through until you get the image to match the background or the colors and everything looks very similar. After that, all we need to do now is just to come back again, select the background layer because in actual sense, if you have a camera that is shooting very close like this, then the background has to be a little bit blur. So we go to the effect tab over here on the left and then we scroll through here, then we find the lens blur feature, then we drop it onto that down layer. So after dropping the blur on the image, as you realize the image is totally blurred out, so we need to adjust it a little just to make sure that we are not blurring everything. This is just, we just need to do this in moderation. Remember, we are trying to mimic how a camera would actually behave in this kind of situations in real life because we want this to look very close to reality as possible. After that, we come here. I feel like we need to readjust the image, push it a little bit to the left this way. And then this is how the final product looks like. So we can simply just end the video here. But as I promised, I want to show you how you can generate or create a background similar to what I did. I'm going to be showing you two options. One that is a free option and the other is paid. Let's get to the next part of the video. We are going to begin with the free version and the free one we are going to be using. This particular AI website is actually called Leonardo. So all we need to do is to go to Google and just type here Leonardo AI and then it will take us to the website. And if that is our first time of opening the website, it will ask us to enter all our details. We need to do a sign up. And since I have a Google account, I'll just click here for you to use my Google information. So it will open another page asking me to choose an account and I'll just select this my Google account and then I'll proceed again to tell it to continue. Then it will take us to this introductory page. All I need to do is just to click on let's go and then it opens this page. Now what we are interested in is the image generator. So I just come here, click on image generator and then once again, I click for it to continue. 
now this is the main window you may not have this posters down there because i have used this before so you may just have an empty space but where we are interested in is this bar over here so we just click there and then it is going to act like your normal word or any other ai you've used so let's start typing exactly what we want to create over here we will just type in here create a youtube studio with white color dominating in the background the light should come from the right hand side from the right side from the right side of the studio and then i'll now proceed to add a little bit of details now these are the size of the image and all that so i'll say create the image oops create the image in a 16 by 9 format that means that it will create it using the video's own format but sometimes let's go back here and add photo realistic or else you know how ai systems work sometimes it may give us a very fake image i've sped up the video over here and then after a while of waiting these are our final products or this is what the software has been able to give us you can just go ahead click on the download button and then the image will be downloaded onto your computer this is absolutely a free option and anyone can absolutely do this now let's go to the paid version and now we are going to be using the paid version of chat gpt for the next part of the video so we go ahead and try to open the chat gpt open ai's page and then it takes us to the login we click on login then we continue by signing in using google and then i select my studio account obl studios that is where i have the paid account so this is where using the paid version is important because it will now allow us to choose chat gpt4 which is the highest model that they do have at the moment this will allow us to be able to create our image so we just go ahead and write create a photorealistic youtube studio in 16 by 9 image format the studio should be all white with dex designs light should come from the right side of the image from a big window i've sped up the video and this is how the final product actually looks like so we can go ahead and download this or if we want we can click for chat gpt to regenerate another version and this is how another version of it would look like and all you need to do is just to save this out just click on the download button and then your background is ready to be used in CapCut for your final video this is how simple and easy it is to use chat gpt to generate this once again this is a paid version which means it might not be that budget friendly to most of you but for those of you who can afford to get the paid version of chat gpt this makes things straightforward and much more quicker and easier so that is all for this particular video i do hope that you guys learned a thing or two from this video and if you see my face for the very first time welcome to this africa Maze channel over here we do talk about cinematography photography editing and all its related branches if all this sounds interesting i do much appreciate it if you do click on the subscribe button please make sure to do turn on the post notification bell so you are notified anytime i drop awesome content like this right here from the continent of africa those of you who may want to start youtube channels or those of you who don't even have powerful lenses you can still use the same technique to blur your backgrounds or again just as we've taught in this video create totally new backgrounds altogether. until next time as always guys keep practicing filmmaking peace out